dinosaurs. See, this is Stegosaurus. He has these bony plates on his back to protect him from other dinosaurs. Rawr! <laughs> And this is Brachiosaurus. He was one of the largest dinosaurs. Brachiosaurus is awesome, but this one is my favorite, Tyrannosaurus Rex. He was a fierce meat-eating dinosaur. Huh. <laughs> 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 Ooh, fierce dino. Run! <laughs> Don't worry, this T-Rex won't bite, <laughs> but a real one might. <gasps> Well, you know, dinosaurs disappeared a long, long time ago. But there's still one that's around today. <gasps> there is? <sighs> yep, it's the Robotosaurus. Cool! A robo-dinosaur! We should try to find it. Then you can meet a real dino, Rob. And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Everyone, how can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can find a Robotosaurus dinosaur. That sounds like a dynamite idea. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. The pet planet? That's a good place to find a tiny lizard, but not a giant dinosaur. <laughs> the castle planet? I don't think we'll find a dinosaur there. A dragon, maybe. Yes, the dinosaur planet. That's the perfect place. Yeah! <laughs> yes, the dinosaur planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. Dinosaur Planet. The Robotosaurus is a herbivore. A herbal what? A herbivore. It means he's a plant eater. Phew, that's good. I'm glad the Robotosaurus isn't a robotivore or robot eater. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. These plants with the heart shaped leaves are the Robotosaurus's favorite meal. Hmm. I have an idea. If we look for those plants, maybe we'll find the Robotosaurus. Good thinking, Rob. All right, let's go! <laughs> Wait a minute, we should all stick together. Woohoo! We'll find that dinosaur. to meet him. Look! Come here, Rob. Hmm? Yoo-hoo, Mr. Dino! Hmm? I think these are the plants we're looking for. Only... Some of them have mighty big bites out of them. Are we sure the Robotosaurus is a herbivore? 
what if your book is wrong? Or what if it's a different kind of Robotosaurus? Or... Oh, Orbit, you're being a silly Saurus. <laughs> Everything's gonna be fine. Yep, just as soon as we find our dino. <gasps> oh, did you hear that? Yeah, it sounds like it's coming from over there. Come on! No, Rob, I think it's coming from over there. Nuh-uh, we want to go this way. Or maybe we could go back to the rocket. TK, what do you think? Huh? Hmm? Huh? Huh? Did you say something? Look at these plants. They're amazing. This way, Rob. I'm sure of it. No way. I'm sure I heard the dino over here. <gasps> Woohoo! Dino, here I come! No, wait! <laughs> Rob, stop! Come back! You're going the wrong way! Wrong! Oh, this way! Just a little further! Come on! We're close now! I can feel... Oh! Everybody okay? Why didn't you listen, Rob? I told you not to go this way. I know, but I'm sorry. I was just so excited. How are we gonna get out of here? Hmm. Huh? Ah! It's going to eat us! I told you, Orbit. Robotosauruses eat plants, not robots. <gasps> Maybe we should find a way out of this pit. Don't worry, guys. I'll power up my rocket boots and get us out of here. Huh? Oh, no. oh, no. They're not working. Probably from the fall. I just need a closer look to fix them. Oh, oh no. I forgot my magnifying glass by the plants. Ah! Ah! Find me! There has to be a way out. Oh, what about your ladder, TK? Uh, I left my ladder behind, too. This is all my fault. If only I'd listen to you guys. <laughs> ah, it's going to get us! It's gonna eat us! It's... it's... Huh? It's teeny tiny! Wow, he's so itty bitty! With cute little horns and eyes and... Whoa, that dino breath. Hi, I'm Rob. And you must be Robotosaurus? Uh, why don't we just call you Roboto for short? Do you like that? See, Orbit? He's not gonna eat us. He's friendly. Huh? Maybe he can help us get out of here. How? He's so small. What can he do? Orbit, I think you hurt his feelings. Roboto, come back! Oh, I didn't even get to meet him up close. Uh, Rob? You know how you promised you'd start listening to us? Yeah. No! What? a lot stronger than he looks. I'll say. And now we're rescued. <laughs> Thanks, Roboto. Yeah. Thanks, Roboto. You're awesome. More than awesome. You're the most amazing dinosaur I've ever met. <laughs> and that means this is one big, uh, little mission accomplished. <laughs> Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> <laughs> well, today we went to the dinosaur planet to find the Robotosaurus. Only, I didn't listen to my friends and accidentally led them right into a big pit. 
seemed like there was no way out until the Robotosaurus came to our rescue. Now I'm the luckiest robot alive. I learned how important it is to listen to my friends. And I got to meet a real Robotosaurus. Cool. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Bye. that are old or broken, like these rocket boosters. Huh, yeah, three points! I've got more stuff, Rob. Junk books coming through! Oh. Oh. Mm. Orbit, I had everything neatly organized. But you bumped into me! No, you weren't watching where you were going. Whoa, easy there, cranky bots. It was just an accident, right? And no matter what happened, we can all work together to clean things up. You're right. I'm sorry, Orbit. Yeah, me too. Come on, let's tidy up this mess. Okay. Huh? Hey, TK, isn't this your favorite teddy, Mr. Fuzzy Was? What's he doing in the junk pile? He's looking kind of old and tired these days. I think it's time to throw him out. Aw, poor Mr. Fuzzy Was. Are you sure you want to get rid of him, TK? Yes, I'm sure. Okay, then I guess we're finished tidying. Now all we need to do is find a place to dump all this stuff. And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can get rid of our junk. Oh, it must be rocket cleanup day. Okay, let's see where you can go. The bowling planet? Well, that's a good place for tossing bowling balls, but not for tossing our junk. The ocean planet? You should never throw junk in the ocean. The junk planet! <laughs> yes, the junk planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. this planet could use its own cleanup day. Hey, maybe we should mention it to that garbage bot. Garbage bot? Mm. I'll go get him. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Garbage Bot! Rob, wait! Hi, Mr. Garbage Bot. 
I'm Rob, and I'm... Out of your robot mind! Don't you know you never make friends with a scrap metal loving garbage bot? Uh, why not? Why not? Because he might mistake you for garbage! Orbit? Where'd he go? Here's some more boxes. Did you find the garbage bot? Yes, but he took off, and so did Orbit. Have you seen him anywhere? Yes, but he was in a real hurry. I think he was on his way to get more boxes. Oh, good. Well, I guess we should get to work. Huh? Why would someone throw away a perfectly good clock? It could be fixed, easily. See? It's running. You're right. It's really ticking along. Ooh. Hey, look. These are cosmically cool. Do you think you could fix these, too? Uh, sure. They're totally fixable. Why would someone throw them away? You know, it seems to me there's a lot of stuff on the junk planet that could be fixed. And donated. Or given to others who could use it. Right. And some things can even be recycled, like this plastic bottle. Rockin' robots! We really can make today planet cleanup day. What do you think? Yes, we can sort and rescue things that can be fixed up, reused or recycled. It'll be our new mission. Wait, I just thought of something. I shouldn't have thrown away my teddy. He can be fixed too. I'll go and get him. Mr. Fuzzy was. Oh no! Where'd he go? Don't worry, TK. We'll find him. Toys just don't disappear. Unless. Oh no! We've got to find TK's teddy before the garbage bot thinks he's junk! <gasps> Good idea, Orbit. You keep that bot busy while we find TK's teddy. Yeah! <laughs> So much junk. We sure need to cut down on what we use. Oh, is that TK's teddy? Oh, no. Huh? Whoa! <laughs> Thank goodness for rocket boots. Mm. Glass, plastic, tin. No sign of Mr. Fuzzy was. Hmm. We should set up some bins on the rocket so we can recycle there, too. Did you find him, Orbit? Who? The garbage bot? No, I think I finally lost him. Not the garbage bot, my teddy. Mr. Fuzzy was? Oh, well, he's right over there. Mr. Fuzzy was! You found him? Uh, yes. Uh, and the garbage bot. We've got to do something. Wait! Hi, I'm Rob. Up there is my friend's teddy bear. Please don't zap him. He's not junk. He could be fixed. Actually, there's a lot of stuff around here that can be fixed up and reused or recycled. So, what do you say you put down the garbage tray? Maybe we can give you a hand and make this a happy planet cleanup day. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Aww. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Paper, plastic, and even tin. They all go in the recycling bin. Yeah! Paper, plastic, and even tin. They all go in the recycling bin. Yeah! Ooh, look! I think some lucky robot would like to have this toy. And I bet some lucky alien could use this lamp. But these, these are definitely garbage! <sighs> wow! That was so cool! I love having an intergalactic garbage, pal! So, Mr. Garbage Bot, do you think you can keep up the recycling work when we're gone? Huh? <laughs> Do our 
part two by taking some stuff back to the rocket, like Mr. Fuzzy was. He's much too cute to be junk. We sure have a lot of stuff to donate. Maybe we can make a special stop at the donation planet. Yes, and I guess this is one big and tidy mission accomplished. <laughs> Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, today was our rocket cleanup day, so we took some of our junk to the junk planet, including TK's teddy, Mr. Fuzzy Was. There, we found lots of things that could be fixed up and reused, like clocks and radios, and even a pogo stick. And we found materials like bottles and cans that can be recycled. We even got TK's teddy back, thanks to our new friend, Mr. Garbage Bot. But most importantly, we learned that we can all reduce what we use, reuse what we have, and recycle, even on the rock. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Junk Planet! Yes! I'm strong and brave and... Oh, <laughs> oh hi, everyone! You're just in time! I'm pretending to be da, 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 Heracles, the ancient Greek hero. I'm stronger than a giant bull and faster than a horse. Oops. Aww. Oh, just when I was finally winning. Sorry, I didn't mean to knock over your game. I was pretending to be Heracles. Who? Heracles. He was strong and brave and fast. And that made him a hero? He chased monsters. That seems pretty heroic. Hey, I'm really fast. Maybe I could be a hero. You mean a heroine. Yes! Emma the Mighty! Oh, me too. I'm not very fast, but I'm strong. See? Uh, uh maybe I need a little practice. Maybe. There's some place where we can all train to become stronger and faster. Like, what's his name? Heracles? Yeah, him. That would be awesome. And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can train to be heroes like Heracles. That sounds like one heroic mission. Okay, let's see where you can go. The cake planet? <laughs> that won't do. We don't want to train for a cake eating contest. <laughs> a pet planet? That might work. If we were training pets. <laughs> the stadium planet. That's perfect. It looks just like the kind built in ancient Greece. Yes, the stadium planet. An excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. Like an ancient. 
Ancient Creek Stadium, only way more Robo Cool. It's the perfect place for hero training. Hey, check this out. Are we supposed to do that? What? Lift these rocks? Sure. No. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Problem. Wow, you look more like a hero already, Orbit. Me? Really? Ugh. Hey, this isn't so hard. That's right. Now, step aside. Here comes my super strong out of this universe boulder lift. What? Rob, no. You might... <clears throat> Simmering circuits. You are strong. Yeah, that was awesome. I guess rock lifting isn't my best talent, huh? Ah, you just need a little more practice, Orbit, and that's what training is all about. Then we'll all be super strong, like Heracles! Yeah! <laughs> I think you could be the next great hero, Rob. I know. We'll call you... Robocles. Yes, Robocles, a hero among friends. Yeah! Yay! <laughs> Monster training! This must be a kind of obstacle course where we'll face monsters, just like Heracles did. Oh. The monsters? Of course. It's important for heroes like us. And heroines. And heroines to prove how brave we are. Think of this as a test. I hate tests. I'm terrible at tests. Maybe I'll just wait in the rocket. Don't worry, Orbit. I'm Robocles, hero among friends, remember? Stick with me and you'll be fine. Aha! Run! Huh? Whoa, stuck! Yeah! Ah! <laughs> Don't worry, you're safe with Robocles. Come on! Good at this, Rob. Yes, Rob, please. You're my hero. Thank you. Thank you. The great Rob, please, at your service. Lead us to the next challenge, oh great Rob, please. Look, it's a chariot race. Of course. Heroes and heroines need to practice traveling with great speed. Oh, wow! Those are the coolest hover chariots ever! Oh, this one is the perfect chariot for a hero like me. I'm pretty sure they're all the same, Rob. Don't you mean Robocles? Er, uh, right. Robocles. I think they look a lot like the chariots found in ancient Greece. Hmm. Aren't these chariots supposed to have horses? I bet Heracles' chariot had horses. These are robo-chariots. They move on hover power. Even Heracles couldn't catch me in one of these. <laughs> I'm gonna be super fast. Hang on! Hang on! Hey! Here I come! 
What happened? My hover chariot went berserk. But Orbit leapt into it and saved me. You mean I fell into it? Orbit, that was really brave and selfless of you. Yeah, that was amazing. I can't believe how quickly you stopped Emma's chariot. You're a big hero. Yeah. Hey, wait a minute. I thought I was a hero. You know, Robocles, a hero among friends. Oh, wait. You're right. Orbit is a hero. He was the one who helped Emma. While I was busy thinking about winning, he was helping a friend. That makes me a hero? Yes. Being a hero is more than just being strong or brave or fast. You put Emma before yourself. And that makes you a real hero. And for that, we name you Brave Orbitocles, the hero of Yay! heroes. <laughs> I'm a hero. Yay! I'm a hero. Yes, and that means this is one big heroic mission accomplished. <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, today we went to the stadium planet to train to be heroes and heroines. We lifted rocks and dodged monsters in order to be strong and brave, like Heracles. We even had a chariot race in order to be fast like Heracles. But when Orbit rescued Emma, we realized there's more to a hero than just being strong or brave or fast. A real hero puts others before him or herself. A very heroic mission indeed. I'd say it's time to head home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. You're just in time. We're playing Rodeo Roundup. Yeah! <laughs> rodeo Roundup is kind of like tag, only we're cowboys and cowgirls, and Orbit is our bull. Let's get him! Yeehaw! It's just an expression from the Old West. Ah, the Old West. Wouldn't it be great to go to the Old West and be a real cowboy for a day? And a cowgirl. Yes, sir. -y. Hey, I reckon there's got to be some place in the galaxy where we can do just that. And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can be real cowboys and cowgirls for a day. That sounds like a mighty fine mission there, folks. Okay, let's see where you can go. The Pillow Planet? We want to see the Old West, not rest. <laughs> the Pirate Planet? We want to be cowgirls and cowboys, not pirates. The Old West Planet. That's a mighty fine planet for a cowpoke adventure. Yes, the Old West Planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt.
the old west planet. I'm gonna rustle me up a rodeo. Where is everybody? This place looks like a ghost town. G -g ghost town? I don't like the sound of that. <sighs> ghost town is just an expression, Orbit. It means there's no one around. Oh. The town is empty. But I wonder why. This might explain things. Who's it from? What does it say? It's a note from the sheriff who runs this town. He had to leave for the day and he wonders if someone can take care of things while he's gone. Kind of like an honorary sheriff. You mean one of us can be sheriff for the day? I reckon that's the perfect job for me. Are you sure, Emma? Being the sheriff is a big responsibility. You have to take care of the town and make sure things get of done course and- I'm sure. I'm gonna be a great sheriff. You'll see. Make way for the sheriff! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I reckon I better figure out what needs to be done around these parts. Hmm. Fix the wagon, sweep the porch, clean the stable, and... Oh, feed the bull. Bull? Looks like a family a rodeo. Uh, sorry, Rob. It doesn't say anything here about riding the bull. We're supposed to feed it. And while I do that, Rob, you can sweep the porch. TK, you're good with tools. You can be the blacksmith and fix the wagon. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> and you, Orbit, you can clean out the stables. All right. Well, come on on, y'all. Get a move on. Better not forget to close this gate when I'm done. Huh. We don't want a bull running around the town. Easy there, big fella. <laughs> Aren't you a cute little doggy? Huh? What in blazing saddles? Howdy, blacksmith. I was wondering what all the noise was. I think I fixed the wagon. All it needed was a new wheel, which I made using some metal and these old tools. Oh, great. We should take a ride. What about our chores? Don't be silly. There's always time for a wagon ride, partner. Hop on. Huh? Wait a minute. I think we're missing something. Where's the horse to pull the wagon? We don't need a horse. You've got rocket boots, Rob. Give us a push. Giddy up. Let's get this wagon rolling, partner. <sighs> All right. Hang on. <laughs> Thanks for the ride. Now, everybody, back to work. Don't worry. I'll hitch up the wagon. I am the sheriff, after all. You two can finish sweeping up the town. All right. Come on, TK. Yeehaw! Give me tie yo yo! Huh? Giddy up, horsey! Wow! Where did you find these horses, Orbit? In the stable. They were just itching to go for a ride. Well, you know, as sheriff, it's my job to make sure these horses are in mighty fine shape. Yeehaw! Right up, horses! Horses? I thought we were supposed to be doing our chores. You know, work now, play later. <laughs> Nobody tells the sheriff what to do. Unless they want my job. Are you challenging me to a duel, cowboy? I reckon I am. Rock, 
paper, scissors. Paper meets rock. I win. Yippee ki yay! Oh, the wagon. Oh no! I forgot to hitch it up. Uh oh. Sheriff. I think you were just too busy having fun, Emma. There's a time and place for everything. And now is the time to run! Ah! I'm okay! This hay bale broke my fall. It's a good thing. I'm so sorry, Orbit. It was all my fault. Being sheriff is more than just wearing a shiny badge. It's hard work, and I wasn't very responsible. I hope it isn't too late to fix things. Of course not. And don't worry, we'll help you, right? Right! Whew! The wagon is hitched, and the town is nice and tidy. I guess the only thing left to do is to put Cuddles back in his pen. Cuddles? The bull. That's my pet name for him. He's such a cutesy little fella. Come on, Cuddles. Well, partner, I think you've truly earned that sheriff's badge today. You think so? Thanks. And we got to be cowboys and cowgirls for a day. I reckon that means this is one big mission accomplished. Yee-haw! <laughs> mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> Today we went to the Old West Planet, where Emma decided she wanted to be sheriff for a day. Only I was so busy having fun that I neglected to do the jobs I was supposed to do as sheriff. When things got out of hand, Emma realized being a sheriff is more than just wearing a shiny badge. It's about responsibility. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, Cheer him up. Mm -hmm. Aw, thanks, everyone. You really are my best friends. Yeah, that's it. Stripey needs a friend. <gasps> Did you hear that, Stripey? Would you like someone to play with? That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Oh, 
Troll? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We have to find a fishy friend for Stripey. That sounds like a great mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Oh, yummy! The veggie planet! Would we find Stripey a friend on the veggie planet? No. Would we find fish on the bouncy ball planet? Nope. Not the bouncy ball planet. Would we find fish on the ocean planet? Yes, the ocean planet. Excellent choice for finding a fishy friend for Stripey. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. for Stripey. I think a whale is a bit too big to fit in Stripey's bowl. We need to find someone more his size. Come on, everyone. Let's go find a fishy friend for Stripey. Whoa! Fishy fish at all. Our new crappy friend is 
is helping Orbit out. Huh? Uh, hey, that plant is the same color as Stripey. In fact, it even kind of looks like his stripes. Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, Emma's fish Stripey wasn't happy, so our mission was to find him some fishy friends. We needed to find a place where fish live. And the ocean planet was the right place. It had a lot of different strange creatures living there. Some were huge. Others were very strange and a little scary. We learned that a telescope can make it easier to see things that are far away. We also learned how much fun it is to make new friends, even if they look a little bit different. Our crabby friends sure were helpful. Then we found a plant that had a pattern just like stripies. And in that plant, there were a lot of other fish and they looked exactly like stripies. And Emma decided Stripey would be happiest if he stayed with all his new fishy friends. Well done, Rob. Mission accomplished. I think it's time to go home. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! <laughs> Goodbye, Ocean Planet. Hi, everyone. You're just in time. Emma's gonna read us a story from her favorite storybook. Someone's been nibbling on my favorite storybook. <laughs> I think I know who did it. He's blue and has a wind-up key in his back. Squeak! Oops, he must be hungry. I forgot to feed him. Squeak, the box is almost empty. There's not enough mouse food in here, even for you. That's why Squeak nibbled on your book, Emma. He was hungry. Well, he can't keep eating my book. Certainly not. Books aren't very good for him to eat anyway. That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, 
everyone. How can I help you today? Squeak is out of food, and he started eating Emma's books. We need to find something for him to eat. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Oh, the bowling ball planet. Bowling is fun, but maybe later. No, we won't find anything to eat on the playground planet. Now that looks like a place where we can find something for Squeak to eat. Even robot mice love cheese. Yes, the cheese planet. Good choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. Like he's everywhere. But that's impossible. 
How can Squeak be everywhere at once? Chasing. It was other mice, too. But which one is our Squeak? TK, did you bring Squeak's food box? I did, but it's almost empty. Because I think I know how we can tell which one is Squeak. Control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn in your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the cheese planet to find food for Squeak. But when we got there, he was so excited, he ran away. We had to search through a lot of cheese and a lot of Squeaks in order to find him. When we did, he was with a whole lot of other mice who looked exactly like him. I knew there was really only one Squeak, so I decided to shake his box of food, and Squeak was the only one who came to us. Even though the mice all looked the same, we learned that they were each different in their own way. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five. to celebrate the anniversary of our first mission. I've got the cake. Yay! <laughs> Check. <laughs> Emma has the milk. Yay! Check. <laughs> and Robin and Orbit have the balloons. Huh? Uh, huh? what balloons? Uh, didn't I ask you to get balloons for the party? 
No, you didn't, TK. Sorry. Oh, no. I must have forgotten. We can't have a party without balloons. Maybe there's still time for us to get some. Somewhere. Well, that sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need to find balloons for our party. That sounds like a great mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. What about the art planet? That's a good place to decorate balloons, but I don't think we'll find any there. The onion planet? Hmm. I think that choice is a bit of a stinker. P.U. Now that looks like a planet where we can get some party balloons. Yes, that's the party planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for a countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. are usually up high. Aha! Uh -huh. I think I see the answer. A nest way up there. How did an egg from way up there get way down here? Beats me, Emma. But I think we have a new mission to get this egg back way up there. We should get something to carry it in. Like a basket. Come on, everyone, help me look. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. 
I sure hope I don't run out of balloons before we get to the top. my tummy trunk that can help? Huh? No thanks, TK. We're not hot. I know, Orbit. But we can use the fan like an airplane propeller. Now that's what I call a fantastic idea. <laughs> We're stuck. I can't use my hands and my feet. That's it, my rocket boots. They won't fly us to the top, but they'll get us unstuck. Hang on, little birdie. <laughs> I just hope you're not scrambled when we get you back to your nest. We're almost there. Just a bit. Huh? Uh-oh. Sounds like we sprung a leak. to lighten our load. We have to throw everything overboard. Why everything? We're the only things in here. Not quite. Hold this, Emma. Actually, I've been thinking about losing a little weight. ride. Tell me about it. Now you're back home, little birdie. Safe and... Huh? Hey, what are those little red eggs doing in the nest? I think maybe they belong here. And the green one doesn't. Mm-hmm. You mean it's some other kind of bird? It's not a bird egg! It looks like we have a new mission! To get this baby lizard back down where we found him! You can ride down in our balloon! No thanks, I'm walking down. I've had enough balloon rides for one day. Us, Us too. too! Okay, don't forget, we have to collect all the balloons in bits, so no animals try to eat them by accident. Good thinking, TK. <laughs> okay, TK, we picked up all the balloons. And all the stuff we dropped out of our basket on our way. Great job, everyone. I'd say that's mission accomplished. <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? We went to the party planet so we could get balloons for our party. We found an egg, so it was our job to return it to a nest we saw way up on a tower of presents. But when we got it to the nest, it turned out we were wrong. It didn't belong there. We learned that not all eggs are bird eggs. Other animals like lizards are born from eggs too. And TK helped us learn that it's important to make sure broken balloons go in the trash so that birds and animals don't try to eat them and choke. Those are excellent lessons to learn. Well done, everyone. 
time to go. Get ready for countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We've been working hard all day, and we want to have some fun. That sounds like a great mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Should we go to the bedtime planet to have fun? <sighs> no, that's a better place for a nap, not to have fun. Is the vacuum planet a good place to have fun? I think we've had enough vacuum cleaners for today. Do you think we can have fun on the playground planet? You've got it. The playground planet is the perfect place to have fun. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
Maybe someone else should have a turn being the leader. Okay, I was thinking we could try... A merry-go-round! Hop on, everyone! Quick, follow me! I'm the leader! Uh, guys, I thought... Hurry up, Orbit. You don't want to miss the fun. Just don't go too fast, because I get sick when I get too dizzy, and... Oh! <laughs> Bit. You don't have fingers, remember? Oh, right. Okay, so Rob, I was thinking that. Great idea, Orbit! It's Rob's turn! Rob's the leader! Let's go! Follow me! to me, I might as well be floating alone in outer space. Uh-oh, I didn't mean it. One, two, one, one, two. Uh, guys. Wait your turn, Orbit. Okay, then. Huh? Do you have anything that can help us get Orbit down? Um... My trampoline! That should do it! Yeah! Uh... Uh... Okay! Jump, Orbit! But what if I miss? I've already hurt my head, my bum, and my tummy today! It's easy! Just land on the trampoline! Sorry, Orbit. It's okay. Come and bounce with me. I'm the leader. Follow me. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Good job. Wow, that was the most fun ever. Mission accomplished! Mission Control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, our mission was to have fun. So we went to the playground planet. We slid down the big slide. And then we played follow the leader. But we were having so much fun, we got carried away and stopped listening to our friend. We forgot to give Orbit his turn. That wasn't nice of us. And because we weren't paying attention to Orbit, he almost floated off into outer space. Until TK found a trampoline. And then everyone bounced with me on the trampoline. It was the best. Well, that sounds like it ended on a high note. You should always be considerate of your friends. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye.
time. We're looking at Orbit's comic book collection. Ooh, this one's my favorite. The Adventures of Robomax. Mm, he's awesome. He's got super speed and everything and... Hey, look, a falling star. Quick, make a wish. Aw, I missed it. Missed what, Orbit? A falling star. I didn't know stars could fall. <laughs> they can't, Emma. A falling star is a meteoroid, a ball of frozen rock that shoots through space. Mm -hmm. Some people think if you see one and make a wish, the wish will come true. Really? I want to see one so I can make a wish. Me too. Imagine if there was a place where wishes came true. Hey, maybe there is one out there somewhere in the robot galaxy. Well, that sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to find a place where wishes will come true. All right, let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Yay! The Sandwich Planet. A great place to make a peanut butter and salami sandwich. Ew! <laughs> but not so good for making a wish. Paint planet? That won't help us make a wish. Ooh, now that looks like a place where we can make wishes. Yes, the wish planet, where everyone gets one wish. Terrific choice. Now get ready for a countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. To the well. Then you make your wish. Hmm. But we don't have any coins, TK. Let's see what I have. Okay, that's one, two, three, and four. Just enough for one wish each. Thanks, TK. Great. Yeah, thanks. Remember, really think about what you want to wish for so you don't waste your wish. I wish I had super speed like my hero Robomax. Awesome! Wow! It works! Look at me! I have super speed like Robobox! Rock and Robots! Look at them go! So all we have to do is throw our coin into the wishing well, say our wish, and it comes true? Yes! Okay, okay. My turn to make a wish. I Whoa! wish... I wish I was the best dancer in the whole galaxy! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Look at me! I'm the best dancer in the galaxy! You sure are, Emma. Okay, you're...
your turn, GK. What are you gonna wish for? Look out! Oh, oh. Sorry! Oh. Orbit, slow down! Whoa! I can't! I'm da 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 da! Super speed, go, go, go! I wish! Whoa! I wish you would just stop! Huh? What happened? He just stopped. Oh, no. It was me. I threw my corn into the wishing well and said I wished he would stop. And he did. He sure did. He's frozen stiff like a statue. Oh, and I wasted my wish. I can't move. Looks like I'll have to use my wish to wish him back to normal. Emma, this is no time for dancing. Orbit's in trouble. So am I. Huh? I can't stop dancing. I want to, but I can't. And I'm so tired. Help me stop. Looks like we have a new mission, TK, to help Orbit and Emma. Careful, Rob. If you use your wish to make Emma stop, she might end up frozen like Orbit. Then what are we gonna do? Orbit first. You scratch his nose. I've got an idea. Thank you. Aha! A little robot oil should loosen him up. to use my wish. I don't know, Rob. Every wish we made turned out bad. Your wish might make things even worse. But I have to try. There's no other way. Only I have two friends to help and just one wish. So which one do you help? Emma? Please! Orbit or Emma? Emma or Orbit? One wish. Only one wish. Uh. 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 Oh! I got it. I know what to wish for. I think. You're not sure if it'll work? No, but there's only one way to find out. I wish. I wish. We never made any wishes! Ugh. It worked! Hooray! I thought I'd never be able to move again. Whee! Oh, and I thought I'd never stop moving. Good going, Rob. You did it! I guess I did. Now, I really wish for... Yeah, don't! Just kidding. We all only had one wish anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny, Rob. But it is... Mission accomplished! <laughs> Mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? to the wish planet so we could each make a wish. But our wishes only caused trouble. First, Orbit couldn't stop. And then he couldn't go. And Emma couldn't stop dancing. Then I wished we'd never had any wishes. And everything went back to normal. 
I think we all learn that we need to be careful what we wish for and to be happy with what we have. Wonderful lessons to remember, Rob. Well done. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Wish Planet. Olympics are coming up, and we're all getting ready. I'm getting ready for the 100 meter sprint. <laughs> the Space Olympics are going to be great, aren't they, Orbit? Um, yeah, I, uh, I can't wait. Gee, Orbit, you don't sound very excited. What is there to be excited about? I'm not going to the Space Olympics. Huh? You're not going? Why not? It's so much fun. Maybe if you're fast like TK, or can do the long jump like Emma, or can do the high jump like you, but I can't do any of those things. I'm just going to stay in the rocket and play with my new toy. Ooh, a toy. What is it? A camera. Orbit, you can't give up on the Space Olympics so easily. You need to try new things and see what you're good at. Hey, that sounds like a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need to find something for Orbit to do at the Space Olympics. That's a great idea. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Spring Planet! That looks like fun! It does, but I don't think they use springs in the Space Olympics. Pillow Planet! It's so soft and bouncy. Perfect for falling down. Sports Planet! That's perfect! Yes, the Sports Planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. about sports. It's not about winning. It's about doing your best. And having fun. It's hard to have fun when you know you're gonna lose. <laughs> you just need to find out what you're good at, Orbit. Come on, let's go. It's the long jump. Orbit, you'll love this. Let's give it a try. You go first. Um, how about if Rob goes first? <laughs>
Your turn, Orbit. Come on, you can do it. <sighs> Orbit! 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 Emma, you won! Ah, so, the long jump isn't your sport. There are still lots left to try. Yay. <laughs> High jumping! Bar, please. Ooh. <gasps> Amazing! Whoa. Your turn, Orbit. <sighs> Lower the bar, please. Give up. Don't be silly. It just takes practice. Practicing hurts. Everyone's good at something. How about racing? <sighs> oh no, we're missing a finish line. What can we do? I must have something we can use. Let's see. String? Mm, that won't work. It's too hard to see. Mm. Wood? No, that's too hard. Hold on. How about this? That's perfect, TK. <laughs> <laughs> We're all set. Ready, Orbit? Orbit? I think I hurt myself on the high jump. I can't move in a straight line anymore. Oh no, your treads are bent. I could fix them, but only back at the rocket. But you should be racing too. It's okay, I'll try racing some other day. You guys have fun. than I thought it would be. It was fun. Who won? I couldn't tell. I know who won. I do. I took a picture of the finish line. Look. It was TK. Yay for TK. And yay for Orbit. What a great picture. Great job, Orbit. Now we know what you can do. 
you can be the Space Olympics photographer. That's just as important as being an athlete. You can do your best at what you like to do and have fun too. You're right, I can. I can't wait for the Space Olympics. Mission Control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Well... <laughs> we went to Sports Planet to help Orbit find something he could do at the Space Olympics. First, we tried the long jump. It was fun, but not right for Orbit. Then we tried the high jump. It still wasn't quite right for Orbit. Then we had a race. Wow, you even look fast, TK. Orbit didn't run the race, but he found out what he's really good at, taking pictures. Those are amazing pictures, Orbit. Great job. Thanks. What a great day. Lots of fun. And even better, each of you found out that you're good at something. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Sports Planet! Hi, everyone. You're just in time. Emma's reading us a story. She was very beautiful, and her name was Cleopatra. She was a queen in ancient Egypt thousands of years ago. Back then, they called kings and queens pharaohs. What are those triangle-shaped buildings? They're called pyramids. Inside, they had secret rooms and hidden treasure, even mummies. <laughs> mummies? <laughs> Don't worry, Orbit. They're not like mummies you see in the movies. Egyptian mummies aren't scary at all. As much as I love reading about ancient Egypt, wouldn't it be fun to explore a real pyramid and see what's inside? Oh, that sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. Yay! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to explore an Egyptian pyramid. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. <laughs> Arr, I love Buccaneer Planet. <laughs> Me too. But I don't think pyramids were built by pirates. Theater Planet is fun. But I don't want to pretend I'm in a pyramid. I want to check one out for real. Oh, now that looks more like it. <laughs> yes, the pyramid planet is a wonderful choice. Now get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
ancient Egyptians built them in pairs at the entrance to the pyramids. Look, Emma, a pyramid! Oh, cool! Let's check it out! Hieroglyphics. It's how ancient Egyptians wrote stories using pictures instead of words. Cool. I'll say, I thought I knew everything about books, but now I'm learning about a whole new way to tell a story. Foot, squiggle, lady, mask. Hmm. What kind of story is that? Maybe it's an adventure story. That lady could be Queen Cleopatra. And that squiggle could be a hidden staircase that leads to the pyramid's secret room. Filled with treasure. <gasps> and maybe even a mummy. I've always wanted to see a real mummy. Hmm. I've got an idea. We can pretend to be a mummy and surprise Emma. This is so exciting. What if we find a mummy in here? Mummy in here? Remember what Rob said? Mummies aren't scary. Hey, you know what would be fun? Why don't we act out the story on the wall? I'll be Queen Cleopatra, and Orbit can be the mummy. <laughs> huh? Okay, fine. You can play the mummy, TK. No need to get upset. Um, Emma? That wasn't me. If it wasn't you, who was it? Mm, the mummy! <laughs> Don't be silly, Orbit. It's probably just the wind. <laughs> Besides, Mummies aren't scary, remember? Mm-hmm. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I can't wait to see their faces when they find out it's just me. Oh, this is the best joke ever. Huh? <laughs> hey! Uh, uh, oh no, it's stuck. I need some help, guys. Guys, help me with this. Mummy? 
I really got you, didn't I? <laughs> I am the mummy. <laughs> you should have seen your faces. <laughs> What's wrong? Didn't you like my joke? No, it wasn't funny. You really scared us. I did? You did. All I wanted to do was explore a real pyramid and maybe see a mummy or some treasure. Um, Emma? But we spent so much time running from you that we don't have time to explore anymore. Emma, look! Huh? It'd be funny to pretend to be a mummy, but I guess I took it too far. I'm sorry. It's okay. No problem. Yeah, what they said. After all, we never would have found this room if it weren't for you, and I never would have seen a real mummy. I'd say this is another mission accomplished. Yay! Yay! <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob, you're back. So. What did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, Pyramid Planet is a really cool place ruled by kings and queens called pharaohs. We learned about the amazing things Egyptians built, like obelisks and pyramids, and a cool way of writing instead of words using pictures called hieroglyphics. I thought it would be fun to pretend to be a mummy, but I ended up really scaring everyone, which isn't fun at all. That's a lesson worth learning. Now, time to go. Get ready for countdown. Five, four, three, two, Just in time. We need some help catching sweets. <laughs> We're playing tag, but no one can ever tag sweet. He's just too fast. <laughs> but not this time. Stand back, everyone. I'll get him. <laughs> Are you okay, Rob? <laughs> yes. Thanks, Emma. My rocket boots zigged when they should have zagged. And my wheel's fast, but just not fast enough to catch him. And I almost had him, but I just couldn't grab him. I bet if we put our heads together, we can think up a plan to outsmart that mouse. Well, if I had a speedier wheel, I could catch him no problem. And if my rocket boots could turn better, I'd be the tag champ. And if I had some kind of magnet power, I'd have caught that metallic mouse first. Hey, we're robots, right? Maybe we could get special upgrades. You mean we could get fixed up so we could do things better? Yes, things like catching really fast mice. Hey, that sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. find a place we can go to get new upgrades so we can catch Sweet. He's one motoring mouse, isn't he? Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. The sports planet would be a great place to go, but after we get all fixed up. <laughs> Not the stinky foot planet. No one wants to go there. <laughs> <laughs> Now that looks 
like a place where we can get ourselves fixed up. Yay! Yes, that's the tune-up planet. Excellent place for robots to get upgraded. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Turn us into super robots. Squeak won't stand a chance. Ha ha! Wait a minute. Why do you want to change yourselves? We can find other ways to catch Squeak. I suppose we could, but this is more fun. Yeah. But. the upgrade I want. With those new fins, I'll be able to zig and zag at the same time. But you fly great with your boots now, Rob. I'm not sure... Look! I can get my kid arms! Those will help me round up our metal mouse. I guess that's neat. But what's wrong with the arms you have? Those are magnet arms, Emma. Ooh! Aha! A Turbo 5000 wheel! I can upgrade my wheel to one of those. But you're really fast now, TK. But this will make me even faster. But I still don't see why you're not happy with the way you are. Upgrades are a robot thing, Emma. Maybe you don't understand because you're not a robot. <sighs> well, I guess if it makes you happy, but... Don't worry, Emma. It will be fun. Let's go! Are you sure you want to do this? Yes! Just push the button! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like getting upgrades tickles. Control? <laughs> I am the Magnet Man. Check him out, TK. Take a closer look. figured out a way to catch Squeak without them. Why, Emma? Now we can outrun him, outmaneuver him, and magnetically stop him in his tiny tracks. Oh, there he is! Get that mouse! We almost had him. We 
just need to try harder. Shouldn't we try to be smarter? What do you mean, Emma? I'm not sure that your upgrades are such a great idea. I'm afraid you're gonna end up hurting. I'm on. Leave it to me. To yourselves. You can't outmaneuver me now. Wow! What cornering! may have damaged your fins. Well, that won't stop me from catching them this time. <laughs> Maybe it will. Don't worry, Rob. I'm on it. I'm going full speed this time. <laughs> made you better. They just made you different. Emma's right. Even with our upgrades, we couldn't cast Squeak. I liked you all just the way you were. I guess we'll just never be able to tag Squeak. Like I was trying to say before, I think I might know a way. Would you like some cheese, Squeak? Huh? I'm glad you like it, Squeak. Oh, and by the way, you're it! <laughs> no matter how fast he is, he will always come for a bit of cheese. Okay, let's get rid of these upgrades. Then it's mission accomplished. Yeah! Mission control? Hi, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we could never catch Squeak when we played tag, so we went to the Tune Up Planet to get upgrades to help us catch him. Our new upgrades made us faster and able to turn quicker and suck things up, but they didn't help us catch Squeak at all. We learned that changing didn't make us better, just different. And then a good way to catch a mouse is with a nice piece of cheese. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five. <laughs> 